Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's Russell Lowe speaking. Look, uh, as you can see, we are in the uh, VR template for, uh, or the startup map for the VR template for um, using the motion controllers and the, um, uh, which means the hand controllers, it gets a hand and all that sort of stuff. The odd thing is, is that when you go into this map here, uh, which is, let's just go into the content uh, here and then uh, maps. So if we go into the uh, HMD locomotion map or motion control map, that one there, um, if we go into that one there, uh, nothing happens. You can't move around. Well, you go into the level, but you can't move around and do that sort of thing as you'd expect. Uh, if we go across to uh, edit and uh, project settings, if we look in maps and modes, as in the default situation, uh, you can see that there's no default game mode. And we need a default game mode to uh, say which uh, pawn, which player pawn to use. So let's go and uh, create one of those. So if we do so... Um, in this folder here, so the Blueprints folder. Uh, because it's a Blueprint that we're creating, we might as well create it in the Blueprints folder. So uh, right-click and choose uh, Create a Blueprint Class, and this is one we want here, the Game Mode Base. Uh, and you can see uh, from the tooltip that's coming up, it governs the game rules, what actors are allowed to exist in the type, and, and all that sort of stuff. So um, uh, pretty important. Uh, so we'll double, I will click on that. I will change it to motion, motion controller, uh, and then uh, I'll just put an RL for Russell Low. After it, I'll right click and and hit save just to get rid of that. Let's open that up, and uh, it could open up just showing the details tab, or it could open up in this uh, default. Uh, blueprint view where you get everything the viewport uh, event graph is where most of the uh, blueprint stuff goes on but you don't need to worry about all of this stuff just look across at the details and you're looking for default pawn class this one here this uh, we want to set to um, motion controller pawn and then uh, compile it save it and now uh, that's going to use the uh, the interface so that'll let it be controlled by the hand controllers and the and the head mounted display. Uh, so we can close that. And the last thing we need to do is go across to um, uh, edit and project settings again. Uh, go into maps and modes again. And this is where we looked at the beginning and saw nothing in here. When we click on this, we can pull it down, and you can see the one that I've just created. Now, if you were to put one in there and just call it motion controller, put your own initials in there. That way you won't get confused and maybe you by accident call it one of these other um, names and you just won't know which one to pick. Uh, so I know which one's set up properly. There it is. And uh, I can close that. And now I can go into the, um, uh, into the maps level and open this map up. Uh, motion controller map, I can open this one up and I'm uh, good to go. I can walk around and all that sort of stuff. You remember I put this in uh, my uh, olding, old uh, balding uh, cleaner mate um, last week. Thanks, guys.